Hey, it's Becca. Thanks for joining me today as I continue to decorate our home for summer. Today, we're hanging out in the sunroom. Now, this is what it looked like a couple of weeks ago. And here's what it is looking like this morning, a nice blank slate. The space is set right off of our kitchen, have this little peninsula. And admittedly, it's my favorite spot in the morning just because of all of the natural light that it gets. And when it isn't a sitting room, it's our breakfast room. I, I alternate from sitting room to breakfast room just to give it a little refresh from time to time so it doesn't feel stale. But today, we're gonna give it a summer, a summer refresh. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the love seat here. I'm keeping the bookcases. I took away the woven chairs and the coffee table. I left the seagrass rug and the faux hide. I love a seagrass as my base. I like it over jute or sisal because it doesn't stain like jute or sisal does. The cleanup is easy. It's a little rough underfoot, but I'll take that over difficult cleanup any day. And I love the texture too. And it's always fun to layer a rug on top of them. They're just a great neutral base. And having said that, I'm gonna show you the pieces I'll be using today going with shades of blue just to tie in with those that I've used in our kitchen and in the family room. I'm just going for a cozy, casual look in here. Normally I would bring in my accent chairs and coffee table first and then start decorating, but today I think I'm gonna start with the bookcases and then we'll work our way down. And to those bookcases, I'll be adding baskets. I brought these in from another room. I love their woven texture. In my humble opinion, Baskets are the perfect filler for your bookcases. Let's say you don't wanna go out and spend a lot of money on accessories or you're looking around and you don't have anything on hand. If you have baskets on hand, you're good to go. And you can fill them with faux greenery or just leave them empty. I'll also be using a couple of these pictures. I found them at Home Goods a few years ago and I love the little detail on the bottom. And then I have a pair of these stands and I chose these, even though I have plain ones, I chose these because that little beaded detail ties in with the detail on the bottom of the pictures. I have some plates as well, again with the beaded detail. I like using these in rooms other than your kitchen. You can display them upright or I like using them as a stand as well. as. So let's say I don't have any of these on hand or I'm using them in other rooms. I'll just stack up plates as high as I need them to go to serve as the base for bowls or plants, etc. I also have bookends. I found these at Home Goods a couple of years ago. I will link some that are similar down below just in case you've been looking for some as well. And of course, if I've got bookends, I have to have books. I get all of mine from Goodwill. Great price, and I can always find them in the colors that I need. And it does take a little time because, you know, sometimes the color of the jacket is not the color of the spine. So I have to like peek behind all of the jackets and that's usually how I find the color that I'm going for. I have for. a little bit of greenery as well. As much as I would love to have real plants, I have a silk thumb, not a green one. So in my little world, faux is always the way to go. For the blue detail, I have these pretty bowls and plates. And I chose these because I don't have any artwork going in the bookcases this time. So their design, the floral design, and that pretty pattern, that's gonna serve as my artwork. Now that I've shown you the items I'm gonna be using, let's go fill up those bookcases. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a basket to the top shelf. See what I mean on how it's just such a great filler? Next, I'm gonna add the books and bookend. And then my stand and bowls. Now I'm gonna add my greenery, but I'm going to elevate it just a little bit with a book. Add one of the pictures. And then my plates. So I'm just gonna use a little plate stand and layer the beaded plate behind the one with the design. And then I'll finish it off by adding the other basket. Now this basket does have a design on one side, 
but I'm not going to use the sun. I'm gonna turn it around so that it matches better with the smaller basket up above. All done. I've got my basket up there balanced by my basket down there. I have my blue there, which is balanced by the blue there with the beaded detail on both and then books there balanced by a book right there. So now that that side is done, I'm just gonna come on over here and do the same thing to this bookcase. bookcase is done now it's time to add the chairs and coffee table i loved the woven ones i had in here before but i've taken those away for a little bit might bring them back for fall right now i just want a cottagey crisp feel so let me go grab the chairs that i have in mind yep these chairs again some of you have seen these over and over again they just travel all over our house trust me I would love to have all new furniture, but unfortunately that's just not in the budget right now. So working with what I have, but I really like these. They're narrow, so they, they don't bulk up this little space too much. And surprisingly, they might not look comfortable, but they really are. You can curl up in them and I've had them for several years. So now that I've got the furniture in place, let me go ahead and add a little bit of color and cozy them up a bit. First, I'm gonna plop a throw right in the middle. It might look white on camera, but it's actually a really pretty ivory and wheat woven colors. I really like the texture of it. Now for pillows on each end. Sometimes people refer to these as bookend pillows that kind of frame it. Now I have these, I like their size. Not crazy about this pattern for right now. So I'm just gonna flip them over and give them a good karate chop. And there are my end pillows. I love them because they're really squishy too. Now for a little bit of color. I'm going to be using one of these. I actually use the lumbar version of this one in our family room in the baskets. But it's double-sided. You have the check on one side and the stripe on the other. And I like that it has the brown in it as well to tie in with the woven baskets, as well as the seagrass rug. Let's just crowd it up a bit more by adding one of these lumbar pillows. It's double-sided as well, but I'm gonna go with the woven stripe. On the accent chairs, first I'm going to add one of these oversized pillows, they'll tie in with the ones I added to the sofa or the love seat, and then just casually sling a throw over the arm and then add a pillow. Now where I use the check on the love seat, I'm gonna have the uh, stripe spacing out on the accent chairs. All right, almost done. Last order of business is a coffee table. Normally I would have a rectangular one in here, you know, a wooden one, but since it's summer, I want to keep it light and fresh and airy. So I'm going to try a different one that I have on hand. I know I probably should just leave the glass alone and I may go back and change this later, but for now I'm going to add this round tray to add or act as the anchor for my vignette. First, I'm gonna add books to time with the ones that I added to the bookcases. And then I'm bringing back these candles that I had in here before. Now I know I have my pop of blue with the top book, but let's add some more with this really pretty picture. And the last piece I'll be using is this beautiful milk glass container. Cute little story. Someone dropped this off at our front doorstep when we lived in South Carolina, probably 12 years ago. 
and nobody ever told us who it was. We were not home at the time, but it was such a kind gesture. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love to display it. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, I really appreciate your company and I hope that you'll join me next time where summer decorating will continue. I also hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.